Right, let's start by creating a basic example using an enum. So the enumerator list for this enum will consist of the 12 months of the year. You'll notice we are not setting the values for each of the items in the enum. So by default, each item will be given an integer value. The first item, Jan, will by default be set to a value of zero. The subsequent items will be set with values that are sequentially incremented by a value of one from top to bottom. Jan will be set to zero, Feb will be set to one, Ma will be set to two, and so on. So you can see we have created our enum within the program class. This means that this enum at the moment is only accessible within the program class. So let's say that we wanted this enum to be accessible to the program class as well as potentially other classes that might be created to extend the functionality of this application in the future. So if we cut and paste this enum so that it is now present directly within the namespace rather than just within the program class, the month enum can be accessed from any class that gets created within this namespace. So let's use our new enum within the context of a basic method. Let's create a public static method named process monthly expenditure data. This method will be static so that we are able to directly access the method from within the main method and will not have to instantiate an object from our program class in order to access the process monthly expenditure data method. We must use the void keyword to indicate that this method does not return a value. We want this method to accept one parameter which will be of the month enum data type that we have just created. Let's create a switch statement within our new method. And you can see that using an enum as the match expression and the enum's enumerator list items as the pattern match candidates in our switch statement is effective in the creation of neat and readable code. For more information on switch statements, please view the 11th part of the c -sharp for Beginners course, which is dedicated to providing content regarding switch statements. For convenience, I've included a link to this tutorial below in the description. Essentially, this function is created for the purpose of centralizing the processing of expenditure data for each month of a particular year. As this tutorial is primarily focused on enums, we'll omit the code for processing data in its place, we'll simply write a brief message to the console screen. This method will state that the processing of appropriate data for the month passed into the method is being processed. Note that the default switch section throws an exception if an invalid value is passed into this method. All other switch sections are dedicated to running code specific to a particular month of the year. So let's call the process monthly expenditure data method from our main method. Let's pass in the month of January as the parameter to the method, meaning we wish to process data relating to the month of January. Let's run the code. And the result is as expected. The code within the switch section denoted by the Jan enumerator list item value is run exclusively. So let's say we wanted to process data for the month of February, August, and December. We can implement the code like this. And this is an expected result. Each time the process monthly expenditure data method is called from the main method, data processing related code is run for the switch section pertaining to the month passed into the method. Let's write the code to output the integer value associated with, let's say, two of the months in the enumerator list items. Let's choose Jan and Org. I've included an explicit data type conversion operation from the month enum to an integer data type to show that an enum is its own data type, but can be easily converted to an integer value where appropriate. There are times where, for example, you may wish to perform mathematical operations that include enum values. You'll need to convert the enum to an appropriate numeric value to enable such operations in C-sharp. Let's run the code. So you can see by default that Jan is representing an integer value of zero. We did not assign a specific value to any of the items in the month enumerator list, so by default values have been set for all of the items. The value of org is 7 because it is the 8th list item in the month enumerator list and the first item is set by default with an integer constant of 0. 
What if we wanted the first item in our month enum to be 1 and all the other items to be updated appropriately, i.e. to be incremented by a value of 1? All we need to do to accomplish this is to set the first item Jan explicitly to a value of 1. Let's run the code. This is an expected result. Jan now has a value of 1 and because we have explicitly set the Jan enumerator list item to a value of 1, this change is propagated through to all the other enumerator list items in the month enum. So org is now set to a constant value of 8, which is more intuitive because obviously August is the 8th month of the year. So at present the integer values set in the enumerator list items in our month enum are all less than 256. So this means we are able to explicitly set our enum items to byte data types. We can stipulate this by implementing a colon after the enum name month and then we can follow this with the byte data type. Let's run the code. And this is an expected result. So the approved data types for an enum are the following integral types byte, s byte, short, u short, int, u int, long, or u long. The data type declared for this enum will impact how space is provisioned in memory to store the enum. All code examples can be downloaded from GitHub. Please see below in the description under the GitHub code section for details of where you can download the code created in this tutorial. Please subscribe, it's free, and can help you get to the next level in programming and technology. If you're already subscribed, please smash the bell icon so as not to miss out on valuable content. Please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Thank you and take care.